Hey, how's it going, guys? Today is officially day one of Infinite Warfare and COD 4. Now, what I mean by that is there's been some leaks for like the past week, there's been hints and stuff on like Nuke Town, all that good stuff. But today, uh, Infinity Ward has officially announced that they will be making Infinite Warfare, which is a futuristic game, and they are remaking an old favorite, COD 4. Now, I'm going to talk about both. I'm not going to do the whole like uh, trailer breakdown, you know, that's that's been done like a bunch. I'm going to kind of make one full video, not like 30, 30 second videos, of just some stuff that I've found out from official people, if that makes sense, like things that have been confirmed. I'm not going to talk about leaks or, or anything like that. And in the description, I will have all sorts of links to everywhere that I have found this information. So we're going to go ahead and start off with, I think, the one people are going to play the most, which is COD 4. Before I actually mention COD 4, I just wanted to let everybody know that this will come out on November 4th, both of them. And you can only get COD 4 with the Legacy Edition, the Legacy Pro Edition, and the Digital Deluxe Edition. Deluxe Edition, excuse me. Now, unfortunately for any old gen people, these games are only going to be on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Which kind of makes sense because, you know, the old gen are getting old. And, you know, just like the original Xbox and the PS2 and the, the PS1, they go out of, out of date pretty fast after a new console. So, you know, I'm sorry for any old gen people. Hopefully you can get new gen before it comes out. So, so far what we know of COD 4 is that the entire campaign will be there. So don't worry about that. Um, there's going to be 10 multiplayer maps from the original. Uh, three has been confirmed of Crash backlot and crossfire now there isn't going to be a disc unfortunately which kind of sucks for me because i don't own cod 4 i used to just borrow it from a friend if i ever wanted to play it um it will be digital download uh it will be completely remastered and what i mean by that is like they're basically kind of like overhauling everything the textures um the foliage the audio like they're they're going, you know, full out with this, so it's going to be pretty good. As I said, I'll have links for, like, specific details of the remastering. And, and that's kind of, like, all we really know for campaign. Um, but then again, you know, it, it's not like it's a new game, so there isn't much to know about COD 4. Uh, for the multiplayer, there will be full progression, so, you know, there's going to be, like, prestiges and all that other good stuff. Um, the original stats from the original COD 4 will not carry over, which... In my opinion, I think is a pretty good thing. I know there might be some people who's kind of bummed out about it. But if you really love the game, it shouldn't be a problem for you. It, it just kind of helps the people who are going to be new to the game to get into it instead of day one and there's already max prestiges running around. And there will be dedicated servers. So all in all, that's, that's kind of like all we know that's been confirmed from the people at Infinity Ward. Uh, more will be coming out, you know, throughout the weeks and months to come until November uh, 4th. Now we're going to go ahead and get into Infinite Warfare. Now before I say anything about Infinite Warfare, I do want people to know that it was stated that the next huge reveal, well they kind of hinted at it, um, but the next huge reveal is going to be at E3 for Infinite Warfare, and I'm assuming maybe some stuff um, on COD 4. Uh, and in case you don't know, E3 is going to be on June 14th through the 16th, which is like a really huge like game convention where the big boys of the gaming world kind of like show off the new games they're making and, and all that good stuff. Last year you could watch it online so I'm assuming you'll be able to watch it online this year for free. Um, so we're going to kind of jump into a couple things then we're going to jump into the story, the multiplayer, and yes, zombies. So starting off they said that there's going to be a new universe, new characters, new story, just new everything, new mechanics. So it's going to be fresh, sort of. I'm going to try to keep my opinions till the end of the video. Um, so for the story, they said that Earth has been stripped of resources, so we have to travel to different planets, you know, to get more resources, which is in the realm of possibilities, as you know, you know, we kind of fucking up Earth, and if we could, we would travel to other planets to take their resources too. So it, that's, that's kind of realistic there. You know, it's better than us just randomly going to space, seeing another spaceship, and saying, you know what, I don't like him there, and then just start shooting. Um, there will be wars over other resources, so we are going to be finding other people for 
other resources. Um, and remember, this is this is for story mode. Um, the new enemy is going to be a people called Settlement Defense Front, which they're basically trying to like take over the resource outposts on various planets so they can control the resources getting to certain people on Earth. Now there's going to be multiple game styles. There's going to be boots on the ground fighting on Earth. There's going to be zero G fighting. There's going to be um, and also spaceship fighting. So they're kind of like they're giving us a taste of each. You know, we're going to have boots on the ground. We're also going to be in zero G, which is like still on ground, but I guess like I don't know, kind of floating. And then of course spaceship fighting, which you know I'm, I'm not too sure about that. But that'll be till the end. They did say that there is no aliens, which I guess is actually probably a good thing because that that would honestly just ruin COD. Maybe there's like an Easter egg of like a little dead alien skeleton, sure, but no actual aliens we will be fighting. All right, now to get into multiplayer. We don't know very much about multiplayer because they're being very tight-lipped. As I said, the next reveal, most likely multiplayer and gameplay will be at E3. What they did say is that there's going to be some maps on Earth. There's going to be like a space station map which is probably going to be more of a zero G and there's going to be other planets that like the maps are on other planets. I'm not sure how that's going to work, um, but you know, we'll find out. And they also teased us that there's going to be new mechanics and lethals and tacticals. So there's, there's going to be new stuff to toss at us. Who knows? Maybe some like handheld black hole type thing. I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm spitballing. That's all we can really do until the next reveal. And then finally, of course, zombies. Um, now, the zombies is made by the people who uh, made Extinction for ghosts. So that could be, you know, a scary thing or a good thing to some people, depending on how you liked Extinction. Um, it's going to be a completely new universe. It's going to have things that no one's even seen before. I'm interested to see what, what that's going to be. Um... And they, they did say that there's going to be Easter eggs because, like, what, what's a zombies map without Easter eggs, you know? Uh, they did they did say that they were kind of, like, taking it one step further from Treyarch. So that, to me, kind of sounds like maybe they're going to put more Easter eggs in than Treyarch does. Or they're going to put more complex Easter eggs in. I'm not really sure. As I said, we can only guess as of now. So those are the things that has been confirmed that I felt like was was high points. There's a couple other things that you can read up on. You know, as I said, I'll leave the links in the description. Uh, now for my opinion. Uh, let's let's start with COD 4. I'm really happy because I am one of those people. I like COD, you know. I, I get every game and I play every game. But I, I am kind of missing the, uh, the boots on the ground. Solely boots on, not mostly boots on the ground. Uh, feel of it because that's... You know, that's how it started. That's the classic CODs. It's really fun to me. Not not that I'm saying I don't enjoy the the boosting around. Even Advanced Warfare had its moments where I kind of had fun. Um, it was a little frustrating, you know. But all in all, I, I'm a I'm a COD fanboy, you know. I, I buy every COD. I may not enjoy every COD, but I at least buy it and play it somewhat. So the COD 4 is really getting me excited. I'm curious to see the ratio of people playing COD 4 versus Infinite Warfare. I think in the short run, Infinite Warfare is going to have more people just because it's new. People want to test it out. But in the long run, there might be more people playing uh, COD 4. Now, it's really hard to say how uh, Infinite Warfare is going to be because there's no gameplay. We already know how COD 4 is going to be because it's been a game. So, you know... All these opinions and stuff like that, they're kind of hollow to me because nobody really knows Infinite Warfare. Yes, the space and the, the floating scares me a little bit, um, but we'll have to wait and see, which takes me to Infinite Warfare. I'm excited. For, I'm, excited is, a, is, is a kind of a exaggerating a little bit. I'm interested in seeing how it's going to be. Um, my full opinion will come out whenever... Any big release comes out, definitely during E3, of my actual opinion. But for right now, I'm I'm keeping it tame. I'm not getting hyped up because I don't want to like you know get hyped up and then it just be some ridiculous game that nobody plays and everybody hates. 
Who knows, it could be the next hated game, you know, more than Advanced Warfare or Ghosts. Which, I actually like Ghosts. You know, don't shoot me, but I, I like Ghosts. Okay, so, the final thing, uh, about my opinion, will be Zombies. Now, we know absolutely nothing besides the, like, two things I told you, but they did give us a small clip, like a three second clip, which I will just show as an image. And that's it. Now this could be a loading screen. You know, it, it does have a movie reel and some popcorn, so maybe it's some kind of like a like a, a Kino remake type thing, but just new characters and new new setting. Or maybe it's it's kind of like a retro eighties zombie map. Like that's what they're gonna do, because if you do look, he has the headband, the the wristband, the t-shirt, it's like that classic workout get up for basically like 80s movies but that's it we know on zombies um you know that's my opinions as i said more videos will come and i'm sorry for having like black ops 3 gameplay i know a lot of uh, youtubers and stuff like that have actual cod 4 i don't own it and my GameStop that's near me doesn't have any or at least that's what they told me on the phone so you know we'll have to we'll have to do with black ops 3 so that's going to be it for this video uh, let me know in the comments down below which what your guys' opinions are on this whole thing. You know, on the COD Remastered, on Infinite Warfare, your opinions on zombies, what do you think it's going to be? And that'll be it, so I'll see y'all next time.